so yesterday we talked about gastritis also in detail today we will discuss an important topic that is appendicitis okay appendicitis very important topic okay so basically in allopathy the one of only treatment is appendectomy okay appendectomy the removal of appendix this is the only procedure in allopathy it is appendicitis will happen what is appendicitis appendicitis means the inflammation of appendix so let's see the image of appendix where the appendix is present so you can see that this is the large intestine descending colon descending colon transfer colon here you have that uh one small size area okay it is attached to the large intestine in between large and small intestine ending of small intestine beginning of large intestine so this is the appendix okay it is in normal form if it is inflamed or uh, it is uh, uh, inflammation is there so what will happen there is very difficult a uh, very uh, severe pain in abdomen and fever okay and vomiting these are the three main symptoms in appendix is that severe abdominal pain severe abdominal pain fever and vomiting okay. these are the three main important clinical symptoms you can see in the appendicitis so basically what why this happen because of the uh, one thing is for infection a reason one is due to infection okay and second one is due to the obstruction or any problem to the supply of blood supply blood supply of structure okay so one is infection due to the obstruction of blood supply these are the two uh, reasons behind the appendicitis okay so what different types of bacteria different types of infection or there are the lymph nodes are present okay so it may be the the lymph nodes selling also cause appendicitis okay or directly the appendicitis will grow largely due to the poor blood supply okay these are the conditions okay in that the appendicitis will happen okay sometimes what will happen the appendix which is present in that area it will increase the surface area okay it will inflame like that whole appendix in that condition we will get severe abdominal pain okay severe uh, abdominal pain but if it is not inflamed totally some part is inflamed and some part is not inflamed okay and it will heal sometimes it will heal itself okay within 10 days 15 days okay it will a uh, heal itself but sometimes what will happen it will become necrosis the blood supply is decrease so it will become death part okay. 
now there are chances of uh, toxicity with this area. So what we have to remove that. In that case, during the necrosis or severe inflammation, because the inflammation increases gradually, sometimes it will blast. Okay. So, at that time, doctor will make sudden decision what to be done. Okay. If these are those, those two conditions, can be cannot be cured with medicines who have to go with surgery with the help of gastroenterologist surgeon. Okay. But this condition in that inflammation is very thin and there is no necrosis, blood supply is also good. So there are the chances of higher side of recovery. Okay, recovery itself or with the medicines. So what are the clinical features? I already told you that clinical features is pain, severe, uh, fever because of the infection, and vomiting sensation because it is connected to GI. That is the pain. Okay. How the pain is, how to uh, locate the pain, how to observe the pain, how to understand the pain is related to appendix. First, pain, who will call colic? This is umbilical cord, umbilical area. Okay. So it is start with umbilical region. Start with umbilical pain. So this is the epigastric area. Epigastric region. You have the four sides. I go epigastric region. Okay. So, the pain is from the umbilical region. It will go epigastric region and it will circulate all abdomen like this. In the circular motion. Okay. But if the pain is from the long duration, what will happen? The appendix will burst and it will cause severe pain. Okay, and sharp burning pain. If it is chronic, what will happen? Sharp burning pain. Okay, sharp burning pain will happen if the uh, uh, the will goes to uh, on the uh, chronic, uh, chronic along with constipation or sometime diarrhea. If it becomes chronic, the pain will con uh, convert into strong burning pain and along with constipation or diarrhea is there. That's the reason we have to take the history properly of the patient to understand the disease. Okay. This is one pain. And the second is we have fever. Here, there is no high grade fever. Here you have low grade fever. You can see low grade fever 100 to 101 temperature. Okay. Or sometimes 101.5 also. And we have vomiting sensation. It is obstructive type vomiting. The whole amount of food it will not come out. So some amount will come, some amount will store in the stomach so obstructive type of okay uh, vomiting occurs so we have to understood this type of okay. here to understand the pain it starts with umbilicus and go to epigastric region and from there it will turn around hold at one okay so it is the okay now, if it is acute condition, how the pain will seen in initially six to eight hours. This is also very important. So first, it will start with umbilical pain for six hours, and it transfer to the iliac fossa. We will call 
uh, Mac Burmese point is the term which is used in the medicine that is Mac Burmese point. I will show you that image. So you can see this image. This is the umbilical. We are making one uh, line here. Okay. So this is umbilical area. This is right lumbar region, right uh, left lumbar region, right iliac region. Okay. So hypogastric region, left iliac. Region. So this is right iliac region. So make umbilical um, from umbilicus to right iliac region. But draw if you make in the three parts. This is the red part we will call is McBurney's point. So we'll observe the pain will shift from umbilicus region to McBurney's point. You can see this images another you can you have like this. Like okay. uh, this with the You can see that this is umbilicus and this is Iliacosa. This is the Mac Burnish point. Appendix here. You will, you will observe a sharp pain on that area. So you have to remember this in clinical features of appendicitis. Very, very important. Okay. And uh, the, along with you can have constipation or uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea or constipation. Very, very important. You have to remember that. I already told you that uh, low grade fever from 99 to or 100 to 101 for an hit or 101.5 for an hit degrees. Okay. Next is another sign we have that is. Uh, Mac Burmese point pain and another we have one another sign you can understood with that that is Bastido sign. What is that? Bastido sign. Bastido sign. So it is of it is mostly uh twenty four to forty eight hours. After 11 of the pain, you can observe this Bastido sign. I will show you that uh, in the picture. You can observe very good. So you have the Bastido sign and uh, row, row sign, these two signs to diagnosis. So you can see that this is the rosing sign. Okay, here you can help pain. Okay, uh, that is uh, already we studied about Mac Burmese point. If you are pressing here, okay, lower quadrant. This is upper quadrant. This is lower left lower quadrant. Even going to palpate that area, so you can hear the the pain is comes from some that area to that area. So this is positive sign. It means the pain by the least appendicitis. Okay, but this is very important. We have to understood about that. So row is in science is very important, and Nagbar's point pain is very important. Uh, all these things we have to do clinical examination. How to diagnose clinically, pathologically also. Okay. Diagnosis is purely depend upon two to three things here. We can do blood examination, CBP, complete blood picture, and we have occult blood. We do stool stool examination or stool examination, and we have barium enema is given. Okay, with that, barium enema is exact diagnosis you can do for uh, 
appendicitis. Okay. So this is all about appendicitis. How we can treat the electron that is very important because if it is emergency condition, sometimes it needs surgery, so we have to decide very quickly. So, what is the treatment part in electro remedies? We have to go with S1, S10, C10, Y1. Okay, we have some type of F1. Y and G. So the basic formula for appendicitis is S10 L1 W and we have S1. Only plain S1 before food. This is after food. And we have C10, Y1, Y, this is also after two. Okay, and we have to do compression, mostly S10, W itself, or BE also compared. Compress. It is hot, not hot, cold compress. Because it is inflammation, so we do uh, hot compression is a chance of blast. Okay. And uh, alternately, we can do B or G also. Okay. G, B for application 10, S10, W, E, or directly W, E, B, and G. B, G, initially, we we'll start with W, E. Then P, then G. This is best for. If it is fever is there, we will add F1, where one Y, or F1, A3, W. So this for fever. D6, all are given D6 only, and directly on time. Rapid dose should be advisable. Okay, S10, S1, and S order. And I will give another line of treatment also. So we have another line of treatment for appendicitis. Which is experience type of what is S5 WE in D6? Okay. Next to have S1 RE. D6. W apply for the whole abdomen. Next we have S10, A10, W, this is in D5. And we have S1, 315, W, this is also in D5. Next. This is the another formula you can use for appendicitis. But you have to give initially rapid dose till the pain is subsided and you have to apply regularly to whole abdomen. Okay, that would be so very, very important to reduce the uh, effect of the disease. So, this is all about the appendicitis. Tomorrow we will discuss another business. Okay. Thank you. If any doubts, kindly ask.